T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And ignition and liftoff of Ares 1X. We all love rockets and the subsequent launch of these rockets into space alongside the payloads that they carry. During these rocket launches, you may have realized that there is usually a water tower just adjacent to the launching pad on either of the sides. These pictures clearly show the presence of these water towers just adjacent to the launching pad. Many may ask what is the purpose of this water tower? Is it a water reservoir to serve the fire engine department where a fire breaks out during rocket launches? The clear answer to this is a no. The water tower is not there to serve the purpose of the fire engine department to put out fires when rocket launches fail. The, the water tower is a sound dampening system. As you can hear in this video, during rocket launches, the sound is very enormous and can thus destroy critical components within the rocket. This is where the water tower comes in. Short moments before ignition is done, the valves of the water tower are let open thus pouring large amounts of water onto the launching pad. This water disintegrates upon impact to the ground into small droplets which are very crucial in absorbing the sound energy of the rocket gases that leave the rocket rear at very high velocities. It may sound primitive or simple but this system is very important as it helps prevent destruction of internal components of the rocket rather the payload inside the rocket. This explains the reason as to why you have always been spotting a water tower just adjacent to the launching pad. It's very very important. The water from the tower is used to prevent destruction of the payload which includes satellites that we use in communication or any other electronic components within the rocket.